Okay, I've, <clears throat> I've just received my package from All Computer Resources back in Florida, overnighted to me. Okay, there I am. Okay. And here's what's in the package. We've got the padded envelope. We have the uh, computer for the Jeep. And uh, this is the ECM that's the report. So, okay, let's look down here. There's yesterday's date. Jeep Overland, the VIN number, the mileage, and the part number. Okay, this is the Jeep that it's going into. You can see here that the uh, computer is out. In fact, the uh, computer will go back here on the plate and uh, you can see everything's out and ready for it to go in and we've also just to uh, verify here here's our VIN number for the vehicle and this uh, computer was a bit of a special order in that we have uh, removed the hard to see here in the sun but this is the this is a skim module here and this is the wiring for it you can see on the side this is the wiring out so that it is completely from the system which is um, how the computer module is supposed to be set up is to not read the sensory key immobilizer unit. Okay, now I've got the computer module mounted to the backing plate, and I wanted to point out here that the, uh, the ground wire to the engine is connected to the uh, computer module as designed. Okay, so now we have the um, computer in place. Here's the three plugs that are in the back. They can't go in incorrectly. They're all kind of, they have different, uh, well, they just won't fit in the same holes. They have different grooves that they have to slide into. So you can't get them wrong. And this is just the uh, power for the windshield washer. And uh, that's it. And this is the uh, transmission shift. All that's in place. All the wires are in place now. I'll put the uh, washing fluid in here and hook the battery up. Okay, now we're all back together. We have uh, everything's hooked up except the battery here. And uh, there's the negative end of the battery. And uh, these are both, these, this is a battery cable that was, uh, uh, the factory one had a crack right where my thumb is, and so this is one that Napa produces, and it's both ends go to the negatives, the negative on the original um, factory cable had two black ends into it, so this has a red, but it goes over here, as you can see, right into the, the wiring harness here, it's, it's black, both are black, so doesn't matter that that's red. And I have a picture of what it looked like before. Okay, so again, I'm looking at the steering column. This is the immobilizer on this side. And you can see the, most, the ring here, the SKM goes here, goes down to this product here. And that, uh, that immobilizer number is the one that matches, and this is what was plugged into it. So we see that the wires are, there's four wires, yellow, 
black. Um, let me go to this side here, a better shot. It's got a yellow black. I got a orange with the black, or black with an orange, blue with the white, and pink with the black. So those are the wires that came out of the skim unit that's right there. You can see right there. Okay, so now I'm going to put the battery on and we're going to start this puppy. Okay, key is in. Do something here. Okay, so after uh, starting the car and still having the skim light go off, I decided to take out the skim module all together. So here it is in my hand. And as you can see here, it's been removed from its location underneath the steering column and around the uh, key ring. So let's see what happens now when we start the car. Okay, clear shot of all the cages here. Got a key. Never works well to sit on your key. Okay, here we go. Keys in. Lights are on. Skim lights off. skim light came on. So that's the dilemma. Other than that, the modules seem to be working fine, but I need to get the skim light off.